but obviously people like my beard, which, you know, thank you very much, very happy about, um, but all my mates are like, mate, your beard's got more followers than me. <laughs> My name is Mark Rowley, I'm an actor, um, I've been acting for over 10 years now. I think it's important to say like, I was dyslexic as a kid so I didn't, I didn't have my calling, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life and especially during high school, that kind of like first year, you, you start to think about your future and what you want, you know, um, and with myself I, didn't, I felt as if I didn't have that luxury, um, there's not many things I was really good at. Uh, I had even bushier hair than this. I'm growing this for a part just now and this. But back in the day, I had mental hair and I was a really fat kid. And I got an abundance of confidence through doing pace. And suddenly, what, within a couple of weeks, a month maybe, I kind of knew that that was my thing. Um, set yourself goals and challenges and do the things that you're scared of. And then once you conquer the things you're scared of, then, and you see how easy it is, then you're laughing. I think sometimes in life you just build things up in your head. I can't do it. I won't be able to do it. And actually, most of the time, I mean, it's easier said than done, but most of the time you can, you can do it, you know. You can surprise yourself. There's a really good app called Line Learner. Um, that's a brilliant one. So you record everyone's lines and your, your lines. And then when, it, then when it comes to your line, you'll get the cue line before it, and then there'll be silence, and then you have to act off of the response of what the person said to you. Uh, now, the only thing I would say, it's a bit of a nightmare sometimes for learning lines, but um, I get there. And as well as that, actually it's a blessing in disguise, because if I have to do double the work as everyone else, I'll come to a point where I look at the script, and I'll get a new idea. Like once, say if I'm trying to learn a scene and it takes someone two hours, it might take me four. When it gets to the third hour, I might do something different and I go, oh, this is different. I've not, I didn't even realize this door existed and I've walked down this path and I've discovered something really interesting about the character where other actors might have not done that because you know, they pick it up so quickly. So it's a double-edged sword in a way. Um, you don't have to go to drama school, but it helps because you want to, you want to try and get an agent at some point who's going to represent you and give you, give you opportunities. So they'll have certain connections with industry, um, and they can open certain doors and they can give you certain connections where if you don't go to drama school and you don't manage to get an agent, then it's a lot, lot harder. Especially after that, if you have a really good business partner, when you come out of drama school, you're laughing. Because you're young, you're inexperienced, you really don't know how the you know the market works, and there's someone there with experience to guide you along the way. Um, but I do know many people who have not went to drama school and have done really, really well for themselves, and they've made lots of money and they've learned on the job, so you can learn on the job. Uh, so you are given it a script, a script and the lines beforehand, hopefully you get the script. Sometimes you're just given the sides and you'll be asked to prep the sides. So in the UK, when you're going for an audition, they like you to be off book, which means you've, you've learned all the lines. Um, and then you go in the room, you have a brief conversation with the casting director, and then you go on camera uh, with the casting director and you do the scene. Um, and then hopefully they like you. Or they like your your energy, you know, you as a person, or you, you as an actor. And then they'll put their favourites onto the director. And then the director will decide who they want to get back in the room. And then when you go back into the room, you'll meet the director. Uh, the producer might be there and the casting director. So they three can give you the job there and then. Or what they might do is they might give you a chemistry test. Say if you're playing a lead and um, you are playing a love interest of someone then they'll get some people to, to read with you to see what the chemistry is like. And then from that, they'll probably make a decision. Over a uh, hundred, over a hundred, easy.
I would love to do something. The best TV show I've ever seen, maybe not movie, but the best TV show I've ever seen is Band of Brothers. I would love to see something like that again. I'd love to be involved in something like that. I would say, uh, yeah, I would say start making your own work. Uh, get to, to get together with your friends, get a camera and start recording stuff and making ideas happen.